so so Jay Ellis on, on this Alonzo Trier thing, man. He, he went off. We got Alonzo Trier on a two-way contract, right? For those of you at home that don't know what the two-way contract is, right now it means that he can spend a maximum of 45 days with the main roster, but for the most part, he's got to come back and forth from the G League. Does that change now? And if so, who's going to be the odd man out in the equation? Um, Jay Ellis, I'll, I'll let you weigh in first on this. Who's going to be the odd I mean, man out? I mean, what do we do here? I would, I would get rid of Moody, man. Like, like I don't think they're going to do it, but I, it's just, it's just even, even Isaiah Hicks is growing on me, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, Hicks is stepping up, man. Hicks is stepping up. Is, does Hicks try? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Okay, so he's better than Moody. <laughs> Did you see when, oh my, then when he just blew right by him and he just looked like he was so surprised that it happens? Like, he didn't look like he even tried, man. Like, uh, I, don't, I just don't, I don't understand. Moody has to go, man. Al, Al like, who, who, who's your odd man out, man? I actually think an easy thing that they could do potentially to make this work is, I don't know what status with Cornette's contract was, but like guaranteed. Cornette hasn't been like, is it fully guaranteed? Yeah, I yeah, believe it is. Guaranteed. I believe it's it is for a million plus. For but a million, it, was, yeah. it was a minimum deal. I would probably cut him, give him the money, and sign him back to a two way deal. Is Vonley fully guaranteed? Vonley's guaranteed. As well. uh, is it fully though? Is it? I don't know. Is Vonley fully? If it is or isn't, it's a it's a minimum contract. You know, essentially a rookie minimum, or like slightly more than rookie minimum. So it's like eight hundred something thousand or 1.2 million or I, I don't freaking know i forget I, but, I think it makes more sense to just cut vonley just because i mean uh, like i'm not i I'm think not, i like vonley more nah, though so we far. need somebody who's a bruiser we don't have anybody outside of cancer who can rebound Yo, but, but don't that, we need that depth with vonley though what do you guys think about yeah, that i feel like need vonley. i, I, I feel like with vonley man i feel like we need that depth yeah you know i, I like feel like Cornette. depth at the bigs is, is, is lacking man yeah I, like I mean, say the same for Cornette, I guess. But I, I kind of am leaning more towards. It's only the first two preseason games, so you know, grain of salt and whatever. But yeah. so far, I've liked what Vonley has done quite a bit, and I think he, uh, I think he has some traits that would be good for this team, like the, the rebounding. He's shown yeah. a little bit as far as inside scoring goes and stuff like that. So, I, I think he would be a good person to keep around and. I feel like maybe he has more potential to get better than Cornette does. If I, I had to pick between the two, I agree with you. Yeah, I feel like Cornette. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Cornette might be the easiest. Yeah, to go. I mean, Cornette switch that out with Trier. I'll be happy. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I I, I think it's Dotson, but then Dotson comes in in these nah, last man. minute stretches, and Dotson does his thing. So I don't know, I, man. Dotson should be getting moody his minutes, man. Stop, stop yep. this, yeah. stop it, man. Yeah. He's outplaying him. In the yeah, real game, he's out playing him. And even mm -hmm. in the out in the in, in the open practice, he was playing well there too. Like get, get that man his minutes. Got yeah, it. He gotta needs gotta to play. He's man. like a player that he needs to play with better players because all he, like he's a shooter. So you got to get him like like it is such a struggle to get him shots with that bench lineup because you'd like run him off fifteen screens and that's the way he gets open. Yeah. Whereas, if you play him with like I don't know Knox and Burke and Hardaway and these guys, you'll get open shots just within the flow of things more. Nice. Um, and I I don't know I just I just feel like he brings I mean it doesn't matter to me whether he plays or not but like if he doesn't play if this is about if Fizdale is you know culture this and you mm -hmm. got to earn it and I want to roll the ball out and all this good stuff like show me that and like because Moody hasn't done anything. Not one single thing. Indeed. Uh, I, it, at least, look, I, we're not in practice. We don't know what's going on there. Right. But in the full, like the... It hasn't been translating. Games, yeah, in like whatever the 20 games were last year with the Knicks and the first two preseason games this year, uh, it just, he's not even, he doesn't even look like a G League player. Yeah, he got, it seemed like he got worse. Yeah, he seemed like he regressed, man. Seem seemed like he regressed. Um, well, I'm, I'm going I'm to go on real quick with uh, Alonzo Trier. I still think that he should um be on a two way contract, You're but okay. not you know down in his talent. He got the dude. He could obviously score, but I think it's gonna help his game actually a lot because he's gonna be playing more. You know what I'm saying? And he'll be able to develop. So I think it's gonna really help him. You know, instead of and he'll still be able to come up. You know and play. So 
I think we should utilize that, you know? I think he can like, help us. His two-way contract. <laughs> I think he can help us, like, right now. Like, obviously, yeah. there's going to be some scoring droughts, it seems like. And I mean, the yeah, thing is, though. I if think he can help us, but I think that he's not – I don't think he's going to have that – Um, he's going to be that all season. You know what I'm saying? No, like, of course not, but – You know – yeah, obviously, obviously, he's he's gonna have his spurts, right? He's gonna be that dude that, um, you know, some nights you're gonna be like, damn, he lit it up, and some nights you're gonna be like, damn, pass the damn ball. You know what right. I mean? But I mean, it just seems <laughs> like it just seems like where we are right now, especially with the inconsistencies that we're gonna see at the point guard, um, we're gonna need that score and spark off the bench, and it just seems like he's fitting that bill. You know, he's he's getting those minutes pronto. You know those six, seven man minutes ahead of guys yeah. like Dotson. Um, so I don't know. I, yeah. I think I, yeah. I think if they could find yeah. a way to get him in, they might as well. Uh, so what, a, what about sending what? What about sending Moutier on a two way contract, sending him back to the G League so he gets some confidence because they think that's all he needs, right? Some confidence and signing Trey to a full contract. You can't you can't sign Moutier to a, a two way deal because he has too much NBA experience at this point. Yeah. There's NBA experience limits. Uh, so he's already past that. Like he's past his expiration date, as far as that goes. Now yeah. you can cut him and just sign him to an actual regular G League contract, which might be appropriate. But you can't you can't sign him to a two way deal anymore. And, and similarly, I think that Frank and Trier look really good. They, they, yes. they sparked it. They uh, sparked yeah, it. And I think yes. it's because Trier is a lot. I mean, he's not the same as Burke, but like he's a scoring guard. But and he they and, it, man. you know for. For a two guard, like Trier has good handles. He's got really good handles for a two guard. Indeed. Um, so like just that combination of skills with Frank is really nice. And in Trier's case, you're not even giving up size. So yeah, he, he plays. Yo, yo, Max, appreciate the call, man. I'm gonna move to the next call, man. All right, have a good one. All right, yo, take it easy. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, um, to Schwinny's point on Trier, and and even Fizdale had alluded to it. Uh, he likes his defense. Fizdale, yes. you know, Fiz, spicy, Fizdale yeah. called out his defense out there. So I think they're really going to give this kid a, a, a real long look at, at trying to make this main roster, man. I think it's evident. If it, if it gets really real, you think there'll be like ever a shot of a Frank Trier Knox? <laughs> I mean, who knows? I mean, down the road, who knows? I, I don't think that there's no reason to be, to be sorry, no reason to commit to um, you know, any particular player right now. This is a, a development process, man. Like like Fizzell say, you keep what you kill. So Alonzo's killing right now. You know, Definitely. bottom bottom line, Alonzo's killing, man. So, you know, let, let's see what happens. Um, let's go to area code five separate. I just wanna say, man, I didn't watch I didn't get to see the whole game. But what I saw from Dodson was one hundred and five percent composure, clutch all the time. I really like Dodson though. Hey, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, that's, that's Jay Ellis. That's Jay guy. He's a Dots guy. my guy. guy. I've been Dots fans last year, waiting for him to, to break out. <laughs> yeah, man. So I just hope he gets, you know, he keeps consistent and stuff, because that's the, that's the problem with some of the guys that we have. I don't know what we're doing with Cornet. Seriously, I think we should keep Bonle. Yeah. And I don't really like what I'm seeing from New Day, but I'm not freaking out like everybody is. I think I should, you know, like, in my opinion, I will give Moutier a couple of more games to see if he gets it together, but he really needs to get it together, though. Because he has a lot of upside, he has a lot of potential. That's how I see it, but he needs to really, really concentrate and get it together. 